Hello everyone, bienvenidos a mi canal, yo soy Emma y esto es Inglés del Revés. En el vídeo de hoy me propongo un reto súper difícil que es enseñaros a ligar en inglés. ¿Por qué difícil? Porque bueno, ya de por sí ligar nos cuesta muchísimo a todos y si encima ya es en otro idioma, apaga y vámonos. Pero bueno, aunque sea un gran reto y aunque yo no haga milagro, yo sí que creo que os puedo enseñar un montón de frases y técnicas para ligar en otro idioma, en concreto en inglés. Entonces, a esto lo llamo la guía definitiva de aprender a ligar en inglés porque va a tener varias partes. Primero, vamos a aprender a hacer cumplidos en inglés. Y no cumplidos de You're so beautiful, que son cosas demasiado directas, incluso un poco incómodas para la otra persona, sino eh, cosas más sutiles y más prácticas. Luego, en la segunda parte de esta guía definitiva de aprender a ligar en inglés, vamos a ver cómo pedirle a alguien una cita. Y no en plan, ¿tendrías una cita conmigo? ¿Will you go on a date with me? sino formas más prácticas y cotidianas. Por ejemplo, Do you want to get a coffee with me? Do you want to grab a drink with me? ¿Vale? Y por último, cómo declarar nuestro amor. Esto sí es un poco más empalagosa, más cheesy, cheesy es empalagoso, eh, pero va a ir desde cosas como I like you, or I'm attracted to you, a cosas más casi de pedir matrimonio a alguien, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, ¿estáis preparados para aprender a ligar conmigo? O sea, no aprender a ligar conmigo, ¿eh? sino aprender conmigo a ligar. <ríe> Diferencia importante. Bueno, pues si estáis listos, ¡vamos allá! Bueno, empecemos haciéndole cumplidos a alguien, ¿vale? Entonces, aquí es importante que no digamos Oh, you're so beautiful, you're the best person I've ever met. Estas son formas de elogiar a alguien pero si no tenéis mucha confianza, es demasiado directo. It's too forward, too direct, too forward, ¿ok? Entonces, otras formas de decir esto son... Uno, I like your smile. I like your smile. Or I like your eyes. Or I like your style. We can also say, you have a cute smile. You have a cute smile. Or... I'm in love with your eyes. I'm in love with your eyes. This might be a bit too much, okay? It might be a bit too much, but I'm in love with your eyes. Or I love your eyes. Or I adore your eyes. Then we have, oh, that looks good on you. For example, that color looks good on you. Or that shirt or that blouse looks good on you. Blouse, cuidado que no es blues, como muchos de los españoles decís. Blouse, eh, ya veréis un vídeo que tengo de pronunciación en la que explico cómo pronunciar estas y otras palabras, es blouse, blouse. So that blouse looks good on you. I like it. It looks good on you. You can also say, you look great today. You look great today. Or to a girl, for example, you can say, oh, you look cute today. You look cute today. Or you look adorable today. Or you look pretty today. Oh, you look pretty today. Okay, this is for women. For men, we could say, you look handsome today. You look handsome today. You can also say, your hair looks nice today. Oh, I like your hair. It looks nice. Have you done something to your hair? It looks really nice. It looks really good. Then you can also compliment someone's personality. Very important. Not only the appearance, also the personality. If you want to compliment someone's personality, you can say, You're so positive. You're such a positive person. You're such a positive person. I love your positivity. I really like your positivity. Wow, you're so positive. I love people who are positive. We can also say, you're so kind. You're so kind. You're so patient. You're so sweet. You're so thoughtful. Say, oh, thanks for bringing me that. That's so sweet. You're so sweet. You are so sweet, or you are so nice, you are so kind, you are so thoughtful, you are so thoughtful. You can also say, you're so interesting. Wow, talking to you is so interesting. You always have so many interesting things to say. So you are a very interesting person. If you want to make it more exaggerated, you can say, Wow, you're the most interesting person I've ever met. You're the most interesting person I've ever met in my whole life, if you want to make it super exaggerated. You're the most interesting person I've ever met in my whole life. The next one is 
Wow, you should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Debería estar orgulloso o orgullosa. You should be proud of yourself. You've done so much in your life. That's so interesting. You've done so much in your life. You're an inspiration. You are an inspiration. You are so inspiring. So talking to someone you say, wow, that's so inspiring. You are so inspiring. Then if someone is really listening to you and you're just talking about so many things, you can say, thank you. You're such a good listener. You are such a good listener. So thanks for listening to me so much. You're such a good listener. I really like talking to you. I really like talking to you. We can also say, you're one of a kind. You're one of a kind. It means you're very special. You're a very special person. You're one of a kind. Then you can say, wow, you're so different to anyone I've ever met. You're so different to anyone I've ever met. Then we can compliment someone's sense of humor. So we can say, oh my God, I love your sense of humor. I love your sense of humor. You're so funny. We can say, you're hilarious. You are hilarious. You're very funny. But you're hilarious. I'm always laughing around you. I can't stop laughing. Your laugh is so contagious. We can say, you have the best laugh. You have the best laugh. Then you can also compliment someone's mindset. Okay? So you could say, oh my God, I love your mindset. You're so interesting. You're so interesting. I really like your mindset or your view on life. Oh my God, I love the way you think. That's so interesting. I love your mindset. I love your outlook on life. We can also say, your point of view is so refreshing. I really like the way you think. It's just so refreshing. Something very good. It's so refreshing. Then if you're in a club, we can say, hmm, I like the way you dance. I like your dance moves. I like your dance moves. And then you can tell them, do you want to dance with me? Do you want to dance with me? I love your dance moves. You can also tell them, do you want to teach me how to dance? Or can you teach me how to dance? Then if someone is giving you great advice, you can say, thank you. You always know what to say. You always know what to say. Or for example, if you're having a bad day and someone uh, makes you happier, you can say, thank you. You always know how to make my day. To make my day, to make my day is to make me happier, okay, in that day. So thank you, you made my day. Thank you, you made my day. Y el último halago que os traigo es, wow, is there anything you can't do? Is there anything you can't do? Hay algo que no sepas hacer. For example, if that person starts singing, you can say, oh, you have a beautiful voice. Is there anything you can't do? Is there anything you can't do? Bueno, espero que os haya quedado claro que hay muchísimas cosas que podéis elogiar de alguien, ¿vale? Entonces, no tenéis por qué decir, you're so beautiful, podéis demostrar que esa persona os gusta con pequeños gestos que van a hacer la situación menos incómoda y van a hacer que esa persona realmente vea que la apreciáis. Que no lo estáis diciendo por decir, porque queréis ligar, porque lo que sea, sino porque de verdad os gusta eso de esa persona. Siempre que demostréis que os gusta algo de esa persona, pero porque esa persona es especial. No porque se lo digáis a cualquiera, sino por la situación y por lo que esa persona está haciendo, por lo que esa persona os aporta, por lo que esa persona os hace en el día a día, ¿vale? Entonces, eh, creo que esto en realidad no es algo de ligar, sino que es algo en general, que algunos de estos se lo pueden decir a vuestras madres, a vuestras hermanas, a quien sea. Eh, pero bueno, también vienen bien para ligar, así que por eso lo he incluido en esta guía de, de cómo ligar en inglés. Así que nada, un besito, nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo y no olvidéis de suscribiros, por favor, que sé que algunos estáis viendo los vídeos, están gustando, incluso estáis comentando y luego se os olvida darle a suscribir. Es la única manera de apoyar mi proyecto y además que os lleguen los vídeos y bueno, si le dais a la campanita también os van a aparecer como notificación. Así que bueno, eh, nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo, muchísimas gracias por todo, que tengáis buen día, hasta luego, bye.